Hola, folks. <sighs> I haven't made a video in a while. I haven't posted to YouTube in a while, but I feel I'm in the mood. You know, like, okay, let's do this. I've been reading um, Joyce Meyer's book called Woman to Woman, Miss Joyce Meyer's. I love Joyce Meyer's. Reason being is because every time I catch a program of hers, it's always something directly related to uh, something I'm going through. Every book that I have picked up and read from cover to cover, it just helps me tremendously, and it's awesome. And this particular book um, has, I think it's got like 30 chapters, but they're very short chapters. Um, and I would just like to read one of them. And again, it's, it's like two pages, not even two pages. So let me begin. And this is um, sentimental to me because I always feel like I'm so weird and this and that, but um, we're all unique. We are who we are supposed to be, you know? We are God's children, designed for a reason. And that goes to say, the chapter is entitled, oh, you can, can you even see that? I mean, in the proper way, I don't know. You aren't weird, you're unique. There you go. I'm a little nervous, sorta. Okay, do you ever find yourself trying to be like someone you believe is more acceptable than you? Does your heart cry out for freedom to be accepted for who and what you are right where you are? I believe that many, if not most women, feel this way at some point in their lives. But it isn't a very enjoyable way to live. Women who don't accept themselves usually have difficulty getting along with others. I had a hard time with relationships until I finally realized through the word of God that my problems is getting along with others were rooted in my difficulties with myself. I did not like my personality. I constantly compared myself with other women, found fault with myself, rejected and even hated myself. I thought I was weird because I was not like everyone else. God helped me to discover that I'm not weird, I'm unique. And since a unique thing has more value because it's rare, I also have worth. Now I can enjoy the freedom to be myself. And I discover that it's one of the greatest gifts God has given me. What I have experienced and enjoyed will work for you too. You are a rare, one-of-a-kind, valuable, precious woman. And I want to help you learn how to be successful at being yourself with some easy to follow suggestions. Number one, speak good things about yourself. I'm going to put all, a lot of emphasis on all this. Declare what God's word says about you. For example, say to yourself, I am the righteousness of God in Christ. I am made acceptable in the beloved. God created me and formed me with his own hand. And God doesn't make mistakes. 2 Corinthians 5.21, Ephesians 1.6, and Psalms 119.73, all making references. You can go to those passages for reference. I like to start the day saying good things about myself. The day, the f good things about the day, good things about the future. Look into the mirror and say aloud, God loves you. I love you and I accept you. Number two, avoid comparing yourself with other women. Bingo, big time. God must love variety or all of us wouldn't look so different. He has created each of us differently right down to our fingerprints. We can of course look to certain people as good examples to follow but even then good traits if duplicated will manifest differently through our individual personalities. Number three, focus on your potential instead of your limitations. Let me say that again. Number three, <laughs> focus on your potential instead of your limitations. Refuse to concentrate on your weaknesses, except in an effort to turn them into strengths. Key point there. Keep your flaws in perspective. People with a high level of confidence have just as many weaknesses as those with without confidence, but they focus on their strengths, not their weaknesses. Number four, learn to cope with criticism. If you dare to be different, you'll have to accept some criticism. God, going along with the crowd when you know in your heart that God is leading you in a different direction is one of the reasons women don't succeed at being themselves. You won't be comfortable in your own skin if you go against your own convictions, meaning your own beliefs. 
what's natural. If the devil has tormented you with thoughts about your every fault or paraded other women before you who appeared to have no faults, don't believe him. He's just a liar. He lies. His lies cause women needless pain and suffering. But the truth of God's word renews our minds and transforms us into the women God wants us to be. Ephesians 4, 23, 24. Now is the time to stop pretending to be someone else and start being who you really are. Remember this, God will never anoint you to be anyone other than yourself. Let now be your time to go forward and be set free from the torments of comparisons and trying to be someone you're not. The only thing that stands between you and victory is you. So I'm glad I was able to read that. You know, you just have to, if, if, you're in, if it hit home or if you're processing it, just give it time. I love this book. I'm, I'm about halfway through it. And then I, you know, I hike, underline <clears throat> certain things and go back when I need to, to, to read and remind myself. Um, but again, I love Joyce Myers. And I think I may try to, you know, share more. Um, so that's about it. Hope you enjoyed. Hoped it helped.